This view is widely held on the committee that both sides of the mandate are calling for us to move steadily away from the very highly accommodative policies we put in place during the challenging economic conditions that the economy faced earlier in the pandemic. Hi guys, welcome to another market news and updates. I'm your host, Omi. Welcome to Omi West YouTube channel. As we can see, BTC coffee sideways chal raha hai. Isi channel ke andar coffee days se trade kar raha hai. Ab humne W banaya. W ko bhi we are testing in these zones. We are having a very nice rejection coming from 37,500, which is not going to be the great thing for the market, but that's how it is. Let's jump into our crypto greed and fear index and see what are the updates for us in crypto greed and fear. So we can see clearly that today we are back at 24 extreme levels, which is back into extreme fear levels. We wouldn't want the market to remain in extreme fear levels. Ideally, we would want the market to go higher. But QK, we have been bearish for a long time now. For the past three months, we've been coming down in a falling channel. So we can clearly see that our fear is also been trading in these levels. We can expect maybe a move coming to 10, 12 because we just hit that recently, and after that we bounce to 24. So we've been trading for 24, 22 in these regions and 19 for the past week already. So I am expecting some massive move to be coming, either upside or downside, considering what our fear and greed index is telling us today. Let's find out what are the coins that have been doing great for the past 24 hours. So let's jump into Gate.io and we can clearly see on Gate.io we've got top leaders, top gainers, spot swing, spot. We can go and check which are the ones in 24 hours that have done great at Gate.io. So we have CTC USDT, we have Span, we have Route USDT, we have MTS USDT Store. USDT Store is a new bit store which is uh, doing pretty well. Very very famous. It's got listed on to Gate.io recently. We've got CZR, and let's check out which are the ones that are down as well. So we can compare them, and we have uh, CTC Inch, Spellfire. We've got SFG. We've got Revo CTT. And went the few coins that are still doing going down. I wanted to see how the layer twos are doing here, so we can see clearly Matic is still 3.44 percent up from its low yesterday. OMG is up as well. Uh, market is all right. It's been pretty sideways as we can clearly see even on Gate dot IO. So don't forget if you wanted to get a trade, just click in the description below and join Gate dot IO now. The first news we have for us today is a breaking news, very very important right now as the markets are trading. White House reportedly preparing an executive order on crypto. The Biden administration is expected to issue an order that would make government agencies be conducting risk analysis on cryptocurrency as a national security threat. This is going to be very very interesting, though it sounds like a very very bearish thing. But trust me, it's going to be very very good for the cryptocurrencies in the long run because. If the government is going to be taking such an action, it's indirectly saying that we accept this and we want to come up with better regulations into our systems so we can regulate it and keep our economy flourishing throughout the period of uh, uncertainty. This so-called special measure provision proposed by James would essentially give Treasury Secretary unchecked and unilateral power to ban exchanges and other financial institutions from engaging into cryptocurrency transactions. How would I do this? So this is very very important. uh like i just said this is going to give a lot of power to the enforcement agency but at the same time the government has to accept it cuz there's a limit to a crackdown you can do on cryptocurrencies cuz everything is on the web it's not like somebody's going to hide it under his house or you know under the garden it's not like a cash it's not like old days it's very very transparent and it's very very obvious anybody with your wallet address details can find out exactly how much money is sitting there from this blockchain explorer Best target new lows for Ethereum as Friday 1.1 billion options expired. Your approaches ETH bulls will need to keep searching for positive news, especially as bears apply extra pressure ahead of Friday's 1.1 billion monthly options expiry. So we can expect massive moves coming on ETH as well. ETH's expiry is today, and ETH is being pretty sideways, getting rejection as well from its monthly falling channel. It's not been able to get inside the falling channel after having a breakdown from the falling channel, and we've been pretty sideways in these zones in ETH. as well so let's jump in on our charts and see what we can expect today total crypto market cap ko dekho to we can clearly see total crypto market cap peep has been pretty sideways trading into these areas we had three strong resistance from our downtrend channel aur uske baad market has been continuously coming down and now we are getting support from 1.519 trillion and market jo abhi 1.61 trillion ke upar trade kari we did go had a chance to get rejection from 1764 trillion and uske baad we haven't had much consolidation going in the market 
we've been pretty much sideways and that is also because we can clearly see that bitcoin's dominance relationship has already changed bitcoin dominance has risen massively in the last few days and it's still increasing been pretty sideways but slowly and gradually it's still increasing and bringing a lot of losses and pullbacks into all coins from different different ranges from metaverse nfts and layer ones and layer twos as well we jump into others dominance we can clearly see others dominance has been in a w pattern it was bringing us very good support but got rejected from 117.56 and now it's trying to have a retest again we've already been having one and two different retests for now and once these retests are confirmed we can get a better direction we would want all coins to have a better rally we wouldn't want all coins to have any kind of problems creating for our bitcoins rally because we don't want any kind of losses happening in our all coins because once the bitcoin dominance relationship changes there's a very very likeliness now in the fifth relationship that we're going to experience massive pullbacks coming into the all coins but hopefully let's expect something better to come as well from the market let's see some all coins what can we expect from all coins uh later in today because we know that all coins in the coffee is the pullback we are and we we are seeing them at one of the lowest points we have in the last few days so let's start with axs axs ko dekhe to axs in one hour has fallen down from my support channel this is a very good buy zone that i usually like to buy from and resistance is very far away so for right now i wouldn't want to touch axs let axs be here and trade sideways if you have any axs try to go on ron wallet and if you want you can put them on staking you can get good apys as well on ron and wallet which is their official place to get staking so if we go to AR, uh, AR and check out RV, RV made a double top as well. It's down from weekly downtrend line. It's broken down its weekly uptrend channel as well. It's pretty sideways and we are not interested in RV either until or unless RV comes back into these channels of 30 about $40. So if we jump into Solana, we can clearly see Solana as well. It's broken down from its weekly uptrend and got rejected from our downtrend as well. Right now it's taking support from our 83 0.2 cents uh, it's pretty sideways can't expect anything though double bottom has been created but the patterns are not completing on all coins at all if you go into atom we can see atom is also down right now atom is back into my support zones atom is a very good buy if atom comes around 20 24 20 dollars that usually likes to bounce from there as we've seen in the historical data in previous as well we're going to into avax avax is having a lot of ecosystem booms right now going on Trader Joe has been bringing a lot of TVL, uh, but overall it's just now testing our downtrend channel and just been trading in our downtrend channel as we can clearly see. We can expect some movement like this uh, happening from a sideways movement happening until we decide whether we're going to break down or break up. Usually symmetrical triangles do break down and then they can be reversal patterns as well. So they, they have a tendency to breaking up as well. If we jump into phantom to phantom we can clearly see as well pretty much sideways movement as well like the other old coins we've seen having a small pullback right now possibly can come and retest 1.9667 it's going to be probably like a third retest we've already had two it's kind of dangerous we do hold hope that it does hold up on these zones but from crv finance we can clearly see that a lot of money is coming into phantom ecosystem on daily basis it's going to be very very unlikely to see that phantom doesn't uh, cope up with it or bring uh, reaction of that investment into it market so i do expect it to stay up and keep that reaction of investors money coming into tbls is going to probably boost them pretty really well for right now if we look at luna luna in one hour is testing our support zone 50 dollars and 82 cents it had a very nice upside made a nice relief rally but is now back and we don't want it to break its weekly downtrend uptrend channel so we would like it to hold its weekly uptrend channel and probably have a nice bounce from here and come back into these zigzag lines that i've created for it i wouldn't want luna to go down right now because as we know luna is one of the best protocols available in the markets and we wouldn't want luna to go back to 20 or 30 dollars coming to my accumulation resistance band chart for the historical data and bitcoins bull and bear cycles if i can see clearly here the strong down channel is going pretty well and overall we are doing pretty well we are sideways in the accumulation zone just like we had done here in the past we would obviously want to hold these levels so we have a nice higher high uh, higher low in place right now so this higher low can help us stay and remain bullish if we do come down here obviously then we're going to be very very bearish even downsides of about eleven thousand dollars is open on btc because it can bring us into a severe bear market but right now we can expect some more sideways movement coming in for us to be trading in these channels for some time until we reach probably first week and second week of february when the markets usually begin to get good directions and we begin to see what are the possibilities 
If we jump in Ethereum as well, we can clearly see ETH is also having similar situations like BTC and it's right now trading in these zones. We, will, we can expect ETH to be trading in these zones as well and be sideways between the region of 2700 to about 2200 dollars so that's all for today's video guys i hope you like today's video if you do smash the like button share your thoughts in the comment section and please subscribe to my channel that's what keeps me motivated and keeps me going take care guys bye bye